Yo, what's going on guys? Shout outs to all the love I've been seeing on the channel. Much appreciated. We're gonna get into a basic Akuma tutorial. So I don't want the know-it-alls to be like, oh, but you can do this, but you can do that. Nope, this is the basic one. For people that watch or even play Street Fighter, you will definitely understand this. For the people that don't understand the Akuma in Tekken, everyone's gonna understand it. It's gonna be a quick video. All right, so let's get into it. So first things first, Akuma has the Hadouken motion, which is down, down, forward, forward. So he does that, which is a fireball. It can easily be sidestepped, yeah? So I, I want you to just sidestep like this. Like I said, double tap up, double tap down. If so, I saw someone ask, oh yeah, but if you tap up, then it should work. No, because you jump, this is what happens, yeah? You can, you could, oh, you could just tap it once. It's entirely up to you. I always double tap, double tap and I hold, double tap. So you could just do that, but holding it, do you know what I mean? That's the reason why I say to people, yeah, double tap up and double tap down. You could just literally tap down. But some people might get confused with timing and then do crouch or do up like that. So just double tap is easier. So that's that. He has an uppercut, which is forward, down, down, forward. And he has two versions of this. So he has two versions of the Hadouken, which is the, which is the left punch one and the right punch one. The right punch one goes out a lot more faster. The left punch one goes slower. Uh, he's Shuyuken, which is the uppercut. That is, it pretty much recovers and doesn't go as high. This one does three hits. I think this one does one hit. Yeah, that one does one hit. But this one's easy to cancel, which I'll talk about later on. Don't worry, don't worry about that. Uh, he's a Duken. So only one hit, knocks down. Whereas he's no more Duken, doesn't. That one's half circle back. Yeah, so as you can see in the commands, that's half circle back. Uh, he has one that hits three hits. There we go. Now, he has a hurricane kick as well, which is quarter circle back. Yeah, exactly like that. You can see it in the commands as well, what, exactly what I'm doing. Or you could alternatively go into the moves list. The moves list will show you exactly how to do it. Yeah, so this is all of these moves. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna let's say how the moves are and stuff and how good they are. This one does multiple hits. So that's his, that's his hurricane kick with right kick. So full circle back, right kick. Full circle back, left kick. Now, there are other moves. What are the other moves? I could show you better than I could tell you. All right, so Shuken. Ah, okay, so he has his demon flip, which is this. Now, if you do demon flip and leave it, which is down, no, forward, down, down, forward, and like, uh, like left kick, sorry. See, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting confused with Street Fighter. So if you do left kick, uh, dragon motion like this, so it's forward, down, down, forward, left kick. Uh, you do the slide, which doesn't go that far. Yeah. Now, if I backdash and go this way, look how far it goes. So that's the right kick one. The right kick one goes further. Whereas the left kick one doesn't go that far. It's very close. Now, you can do numerous of things from this flip. So you can either do one, which, which knocks him down. Or you, or you could do two from the flip. Now from the flip you could do that, down forward one, um, let me do it again, one, down forward oh, one more time, there we go, into a combo, I'll teach you about the combos later on, don't worry about that, so that's the demon flip, uh, he ha also has the disc kick here, so, and he also has the dive kick, which is right kick, so again let me tell you, so it's left punch, right punch, left kick, which, uh, Tail whip. Uh, sorry about the last video because someone said, "Oh yeah, what's well, screw tip?" I, I always say screw tip, but it's, if it's tail whip, then it, it is what it is. So that one tail whips. So you could do something like, hold on, like that. Yeah. So that's off of while rising two, and the other one's a dive kick. So you could do that as well, which is pretty cool. So that's from pressing four. That's a combo as well. But you can also do another combo from that. Hold on. Ah, oh, bad. I can't. It's, it's it's hard. It's actually quite. But you have to. The timing is. Ah! It's too hard. I'm actually learning Akuma now as we speak, and I find him. I find him quite difficult. That's why a lot of people, people will be like, oh yeah, like, why do you even see the Kumas? The Kuma is a really difficult character in this game. I can't do the combo. 
but I'll show you the combo on here which is the samples I'll show you that a little bit later on so that's it there also as well he's got the throw as well so let me show you the throw so it's pretty much that I don't think it's escapable I really don't think I just I think you have to duck because it's a high yeah I just think you have to duck so mix up game wise he's pretty he's pretty cool so that's a mid that's a high that's a mid that's a mid and then he's got the delayed one which is a low it, it, the mix up game is pretty crazy and you could probably like from a light kick I mean uh, not light kick from left kick crouch or left kick you can mix it up and do do you know what I mean and then you could do from back one you could do it as well it's quite, it's quite, it's quite hard man I'll be honest there we go But from back one you could get the you could get the bat you could get the tail whip as well. But it's just, it's just there we go. Or whatever else you want to do into that. Now we're gonna talk about the EX moves. So that those are moves from exactly the the demon flip. Now move it on to EX moves. Shout out to the aeroplane out there. Now we're gonna do for the EX moves, it requires meter. So as you can see down below, Akuma's the only character that has meter. Now, you build it up by doing moves. You could throw out a Dukes. I think starting the match, I'm just moving back a little bit and throw the Dukes would be good. So just to try and build up bar and stuff like that. So, once he's got one bar, there's two bars and it's a super. Once you've got one bar, you're able to do either any of these moves. So it's like the EX Fireball, uh, the EX Shuriken. Now, the EX Shuriken on counter hit does this. Which it goes pretty much it goes into like a little dynamic bit where it goes in and zooms in uh, that's pretty cool and then you've got his hurricane kit which screw tips already so you can't screw tip anymore so to do that it's hard it's quarter circle back uh both both kicks again it's all the moves that i told you before it's just both punches and both kicks so that then quarter circle forward is two punches that is uh, forward, down, down, forward, both punches. This is uh, quarter circle back, two kicks. And then he has one, he doesn't have anything off of the EX. He doesn't have anything off the EX, so you can't do that. Um, to do that as well, but I just did the, the kind of like teleport, is forward, down, down, forward, both kicks. And then to move back, it's back, down, down, back and three uh, not three kicks two kicks sorry so that's that covered we're gonna move on to oh he has air tatsu as well sorry so he has air tatsu which can it can it can bounce not bounce sorry it can can it screw tip there we go you could screw tip off of it so it can that's just screw tip i'll teach you about that anyways afterwards and then he has one from this one's really good because from far range, look, it, it goes straight to you. So you don't know what the mix-up is. He could be just jumping for any reason. Look how far, look how, how much range that covers. So we're going to go right back and show you how much range that covers. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So if you're if you're trying to cover range or something, or you want to catch someone doing something, I think it's pretty cool. I don't know how safe it is. I don't know about the frames yet for Akuma. So that's why it's a basic tutorial. I need to understand the frames and learn what you could do, stuff like that. Um, so you could also do air fireball as well. So when you jump in the air, which is you hold up or up forward, he could do that. And he could also do. So every yeah, all those moves you could do in the air. Same commandments. You just do quarter circle forward and, and punch. Uh, he's ex fireball is pretty cool because he because it throws out two fireballs. So you could probably like I don't know if you could combo off of it. It would be quite hard. Oh, yeah, nah, it's quite hard. Oh, I got three out of it. Nice, lads. Oh, yeah, there we go. But I'm trying to get like a. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Or maybe. Alright, maybe that will work. Nah, it doesn't look like it'll work. Nah. 
it ain't gonna work. It's quite hard. But maybe I might find something out later on down the line. I don't know. So we got the EXPs out of the way. Is there any other ones that get it? I think we've got all of them out of the way right now. Is there any more that I need to show? Airborne, airborne. Ah, oh, half circle back. I showed you that five. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let me show you his. So that one does three hits. But so does the other one. I don't know why it keeps doing it. Sorry. I think it's more. Yeah, it's just more damage. Uh, focus cancel. Okay, so this is where it's getting to the nitty gritty now. So focus cancel is one plus two. Yeah. So that's this move here. So you could either do a full charge. I'm gonna show you the level. So there's level one, which has 15 damage, which you can then come forward. But you can't combo like that. You ha you have to do it in like maybe a launch. So if I done, see, you could do a combo. Now to do level one and to dash up, all it is is forward forward. Yeah. To do it to to move back. You just press back back so you could also focus castle like that and just not do anything it could just be just for movement you could just yeah it could just be literally for movement you could just be stylish like that that would just look it looks quite sick so you got level two which you hold for approximately i say two seconds which crumples And then you got level three, which is the full one. Which you can do whatever combo there is. Alright, now I'm gonna set this to play because I wanna show you how it, how good it works. So it absorbs hits as well. So I want him to start going start. Yeah? So it absorbs hits. But the thing is, you can't do it through strings because Yeah, see? As you can see there, the animation of when he does it doesn't start up the, the, the armor. Now, another thing as well, if you start early like this, look. Again, I could get hit out of the animation. Now, what this is, is when he, once he goes down, that's when he's absorbing armor. Once he's finished and he's releasing, he's not got armor after that. So you have to be careful when you're throwing it out. Sometimes you could just throw it out in itself. Like just be here and be the surprise of somebody's face to do that. That's scary. Like, but then you could grab him out of it as well. So think about those things. So again, like I said, that's uh, forward forward. You could just do forward forward after that. So to do that one plus two forward forward, you start your combo. You could do, or whatever else. I'm gonna show you some combo that I've got that's quite sick, but Let's get on. Let's get on with it. So that's the how to do focus, the focus attack or focus cancel. Um, very useful in combos. Uh, very, very, very useful. Focusing out of moves requires bar though. So as you can see, that took a bar. So focusing out any move requires bar. You can't focus out any moves that are airborne. So you have to be on the floor. So you can focus. Do you know what I mean? But you have to double tap forward, it's so essential. If you don't double tap forward, you can't you can't double dash. So you might do it a bit late and you get that. You see what I'm saying? You have to do it on point. And this is the thing, you could do and then do something nice like that. Like Akuma has so much potential, but it's just like he's, he's very hard to get into. And I've learned that that me being a tucker player for however long, like for at least eight years. I've realized that using this character is quite hard, but it's very, very rewarding when you do it, when you're able to get off all these combos and stuff like that. So, moving on swiftly. Uh, yeah, so like I was saying to you, this this requires bar. So, if you do, oh, sorry, you can't. Oh yeah, you can't focus uh, normal stuff as well. So like, you can't do. Can I do the X Fireball focus? Yeah, you can't. You can't focus. You can't focus. Attack any of the normal moves. I mean the EX moves. Yeah, that's it. So it's pretty cool. You could do nasty setups like. Let me see if you could do this. All right, if backs against the wall, let me see something. All right, so if their backs against the wall, and you're done. Oh, 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 oh. If their backs against the wall, you're done. 
Look at that. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, there's so much setups you could do. Like, that's only if they don't backdash. They could backdash, they could... Yeah, but there's so much potential. Like, there's so much potential. Moving on. Kuma has super moves. Well, he has one super move. So once his bar is full, he's able to do uh, the Shinku Hadouken. Now, this doesn't require none of the bar. Super Hadouken, whatever you want to call it. This doesn't require none of your Rage Drive or Rage Off. Akuma doesn't have a Rage Drive. He already has a Rage Off. Yeah? So, here's what we're going to do. It is quarter circle forward, quarter circle forward, one and two. So it's like that. Yeah? Now, you, you, it doesn't. It does. It's not one bar. It requires the whole gauge of um, or gauge. Sorry, the whole gauge of super. So you, it's you can't focus attack a dead. Oh yeah, I've got one. It requires the full bar. So the only way you do this is if you bait out a move or if this guy's. Let's let's see if he's doing this. Look at that. Baited. Yeah. So that's that covered. Raging demon. Now raging demon requires. Let me show you, let me show you, man. let me show you. I think it's better. So, Rage Demon is 1-1, one, one, forward, 3-2. So it's like, so you, you could do this in a, I think you could buffer it still. Could, does you, can you buffer it? Well, it looked like the, buff, the buffered late though. Now you can't buffer it. Weird. Mm. It's not working. Oh, so you can't buffer it like Street Fighter then. Okay, fair enough. I thought they would have done that. But I'm sure I've seen people buffer it from doing that. I haven't found out yet how to do that, so I can't teach you. I can't teach you what I don't know, and I'm just gonna be honest with you. I only know how to do it that way. Now, I'm gonna teach you some of the moves. So, the moves that he does have is four three plus four, which is that move. Now, this is good because you can you could do ex hurricane kick from that. Whoops, like that. So it'll be four three plus four. Once you hit, do quarter circle back three plus four. I don't. Uh, I'll teach you combos in a minute. Don't watch. Don't worry about all of that stuff. So can you do it from? Can you do Hudouken? No, you can't do Hudouken afterwards. It's only the Hurricane Kick you can So oh, you can. Nice. Answer bold question. Okay. I didn't know about that to be honest with you. So that move is pretty cool. Nice. So you could do that. Now, this overhead that he has a Street Fighter is back again. It's forward one plus two. You could either do down forward, down forward one, two, which would be his mix up because he has a down forward one, one, which is a high. So people will probably think, oh yeah, I could duck the high, I could launch it. Nope. Overhead. And yeah, you can't. The thing with some of the well, some of the Kuba's moves, you, I don't think you, I don't think you can cancel any of them, to be honest. From what I've seen, I don't think you can cancel them, except for the the supers or the specials. Not the supers, sorry. The um, what do they call it in this game? Special moves, sorry. Instead of it's like the special moves could be cancelled, so you could do a do can like that or. But uh, yeah, the ones that are airborne you can't cancel. Uh, I think that's it, yeah. And and that one as well, so. He's a pretty hard, he's a pretty hard character, like I said to you, he's pretty hard. Again, he has his uh, combo ender, who is, I'm sure it's down forward one. No, is it down? Down forward one, yeah. Down forward one, four, three. So always remember that you Akuma players that are trying to learn, that for one four three is his ender. 
So he will probably do something like boom, boom. That's his endo, yeah. Never forget it. And you could do stuff like oh, sorry. Don't know why it's not working. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, did you see this? Akuma's Akuma's secretly quite difficult. Fireball, yeah. Now, yeah, this was that one's a bit more difficult than just pressing down forward two, four, three. Now, with that, you have to focus cancel level one, dash, press back one, and cancel the back one with fireball. So back one fireball. Now, sorry, I'm not, I'm not meaning to do that. I don't know why that came out. So I want to set the opponent to block because I just want to see if it's actually a safe. It could be a safe. Hold on, stand next time, God. Because you could get really, really nice with it, and yeah, it's you could get punished. So, but you could do back dash. Yeah. But you have to use a bar for that. But it's just it could it could be considered a waste. Or you could do if you're if you're against the wall. It, but that requires a bar too. So his possibilities are endless. Possibilities are endless. See, if you block as well. He has a lot of good stuff. That's why him having that demon flip is pretty cool. If you block, so if you block all day, you can eat the throw. You have to duck. So he's his mix-up game is pretty nice on a demon flip. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's pretty nice. Um, what other things is there? All right, let me get him off block. I want to see some other things. So that doesn't screw, so the stuff that screw tips, sorry, I keep saying the same word. The, the move that tail whips is forward, no, is it, yeah, forward, no, it's over, there we go, four, three. So, and then he has forward four. I don't do forward four, if I'm honest. I always just do four, three. But forward four would scale the scale the combo less, as you can see. If you were to look at the damage, it says seventy five percent. So it's but this one will scale it down more because it's this one will scale it down because it's two hits. Okay, so let's have a look at his move list and I'll show you the stuff that tell. So this screw tips, tail whip. Sorry, 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 sorry. I don't know why I put it in my head that it's screw tip. Okay, uh, he's ex tatsu does. Uh, he's airborne taxi as well. This is a yeah, so this move is a homing move, by the way. Oh, this move! Oh, this move could be used as a combo ender as well. By the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. Hold on one second. I'm gonna show you something. Yeah, so that could be used as a combo ender. Let me show you something else as well. So, so he's running. He's running mix up is pretty heavy. So he has running one, which will probably make you into a little bit of block stun. Running three makes you into a little bit of block stun. Or does it? I'm sure it does. And then running four is the low, which slides them on the face. Running knee. Ah, uh, that. I'm gonna show you some stuff. So this move here on counter hit makes you makes you crumple down. It's kind of like Kazuya's axe kick. So you got the different jump stuff. I'll show you the different different jump stuff anyway. Don't worry about that. Different throws. But his throws are pretty much the same. Look, for the left side, it's pretty much the same. 
Save stuff. Push. Pushing you back. I feel like they could have been a bit better. He has no... Ah. Oh. That's the sample combos. See what I told you about the ender? This sample combo is really good, but it's very hard to master. Yeah, really hard to master. Now, this video pretty much is just showing you what you are capable of with Akuma. I come up with, um, you could do jump kick, but it's hard, isn't it? It's hard. Ah, can't do it. It's quite hard, it's quite hard. I'm gonna try at least twice more. Can't do it. I can't do it. I don't think I could do it under pressure. There we go. Woo! Dust me off, man. Dust me off. Now, to do the double shuriken, like I said to you, it's it's all about basic. It's, it's about just literally focusing and double double pressing forward. It's quite hard. If you if you're not used to like Street Fighter Four, it's quite hard. So just get used to like. See, so you have to either you can either use it as shoulder button. I don't use shoulder button. I, I wanted to use shoulder button as a start, but I'm now learning to press the. Um, one plus two. Let me show you the best way to do it actually. Press the buttons like this. Use the claw style when you're playing. The claw style is literally, you hold the pad like that and you press the buttons. It's, I think it's a lot more easier with Akuma. I don't know about stick players. They might have a different method, but I think it's a lot more easier. There we go. So again, this is just a basic tutorial on how to use Akuma. A lot of the moves are in the moves list. Um, the, the good ones to use, like I said, is Demon Flip. Is really good because it's the mix up. Um, let me put him on standing guard so I can show you guys exactly what I mean. All right, so he's on standing guard, okay. So look at this. So this is the running punch. Look at that. Look at the pressure. Like you could, if you could do the instant running, like. Is, look at that. Or running free, but this one. If people sidewalk at a size to sometimes it does it misses, isn't it? But it's what I'm saying. The character's got full potential. The character's got good potential. Like it says more than three times, so I don't know why. Yeah, so he's pretty cool. Pretty cool, and he's got crouching, crouching uh, four, which is quite cool. So you're not that one. Ah, that's another thing I wanted to let you guys know. Alright, so Hurricane Kick, this is for people that fight against Kuma. If the first hit is medium, but all the rest are high, yeah? On his, uh, is it? On the quarter circle back three, that one's just a high. But in his quarter circle back four, which is the bolt pulls hits, it's mid high, high, high. So you could block the mid and then duck the, duck the rest. Wait for him to come down, launch. Yeah, as you can see. But yeah, like I said, the character is really silly. Like he's, I think he's ridiculously strong. But it's just people ain't tapped into him yet. Like he's really, really strong. Yeah, I think that's it, guys. I don't know if there's anything else more I can really say. You can teleport through as well. But then again, I think the teleport is quite punishable. So I'm unsure if people would want to do that. I don't really use the teleport. It's, it's good to kind of get out of stuff. But his teleport doesn't go that far, really. I wouldn't really use it. Um, I think that's it. Um, stuff that you'd use. Oh, for new players that are trying to uh, use him. He's got a nice for one. Size to pay is okay. I don't think it's that great. Um, to start off combos. Is, oh, he's jumping stuff. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. So he's jumping stuff is If you do to jump, he's got jumping uh, four, jumping three, jumping one. Sorry, whoops. Jumping two. Jumping forward, 
He's got jumping one, jumping two, jumping three, jumping four. Now, with both of these, you can set them up for combos. So let me just show you better than I could tell you. So you could do bam, bam. Well, not depending on where you land. You can't do it from you can't do it from the top and then do that. Doesn't work. From, if you just about land and then do it, you can you can do it. So it's like just. Again, it depends on where you land. You can't do it from lights. Oh, so maybe you can. No, no, you can't do it from lights. Sorry. Yeah, you can't do it from lights. It's only from. I might say lights. Sorry, you can't do it from left punch or left kick. Sorry, I'm getting confused with a uh, street fire. So, you can't do it with the left kick jump in. Doesn't work. Yeah, it's with right punch or right kick. But it depends on how you land. Like that. Yeah. He's also got the dive kick from a certain range. There we go. But it's it's down and left kick. Yeah. But you got to jump forward. And it, again, this is again this is depending on your range of where you land. So you could land from. Ooh. So I, I'm not even used to doing it on here, man. There we go, see? So if you're just about touching their knees or low, lower than that, yeah, you could do a, you could do a jab jab. Uh, in terms of his punish, I've seen some ridiculous thing from 10 frame punish. So from jab jab, he could do jab jab. Yeah, so this is this is this is his 10 frame punish. <laughs> jab jab into shoe you can. Yeah, I think this has to be I think this has to be one of the best uh one of the best punishes in the game. Yeah, I think that has to be one of the best punishes. Oh, you could do... No, sorry, not that. But that requires bar. Uh, yeah, he's he's looking really good. Like, if you really want to be fancy... Oh, let me try again. He's quite hard, I'm not going to lie. Oof. Or whatever else you want to do that is a 10 frame punish it's ridiculous oh man you can't do anything about that jab jab into any special movie he has like oh man uh, you could do jab jab into mix up which is the flip what you you ain't gonna be ready for that you could do jab out into so much things, man. Or you could do the thing is with uh, the demon flippage. You could do it from certain moves. So from this, you could do it from that. Bam, bam. You could do what? It's just about learning the character properly. As you can see, I've labbed him as much as I can, and I've put as much work as I can into him. I want to lab him some more because I feel like I want to make an advanced guide for him. This is basically a basic guide for the people that want to learn Akuma and yeah, he's just looking ridiculous right now, I'll be honest. Like even though in the arcade version he was ridiculous and then they nerfed him, I still think he's ridiculously strong in this game. I think he's ridiculously strong. But again, I need more time with him. I've only, I've only showed you battery died. Thank you very much for sabotaging. But yeah, this is the end of the, end of the video. But this is just to show you what Akuma is capable of. If you need any help or any questions, please leave a link down below. And I would definitely love to try and get get, get in contact. Just get in contact with me. Just leave a message down below if you're trying to use Akuma. And I'll try to get back to you, everyone, man. But yeah, other than that, guys, love for the support. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Please press that subscription button if you like my content and want to see more. Let me know as well. Give it a thumbs up so I know you lot appreciate it. And yeah, on to the next tutorial, man. Peace. Yes, sir.